they taught me though was pushing like to eliminate sort of the standardization of our public schools. Um, my students sometimes would get frustrated. I didn't offer any test prep. Many of my other colleagues were doing it at the time. I was pushing our administration to move away from that. To be quite frank with you, I didn't issue a lot of homework for students. Um, that was my own way of sort of rebelling against the structure. Um, I, I don't think I ever gave a kid an F. I just, I, I, don't, I don't know how a student sits in front of you and fails. I know some professors may find that, you know, you know, this is slightly troubling. It taught me though was this is with their education. I don't know if you guys remember um, Brandon Johnson be while he was on his campaign trying to get elected to the mayor of Chicago. He mentioned that he didn't like um, giving his kids tests. He's a, a a teacher or I guess administrator at one point of a school. And he didn't like giving his kids tests. Tests are hard, you know, for some people. Some people have test anxiety. But how can you determine whether or not you're improving on your skill set or what you're learning if you don't give a test? And so Brandon Johnson thought it would be okay to say, oh, we don't need those selective schools that require for you to test in to get into the school because of your ability, your intellectual ability. You got to test in the school, those type of schools. He's getting rid of those. <laughs> He's getting rid of the, the high performing schools, the selective process, because he said is not equitable. He wants everyone to be accepted in those types of schools instead of improving the public school system. He wants the good schools you, with kids with really good grades and study hard, he wants to ruin those schools. He he wants to ruin those schools and put kids that not their mama or daddy not even not even trying to force the kids <laughs> to learn something. And I think it's setting them up for failure. Number one, because if if you're a poor performing student and you have to perform really well to get in those schools, what is that saying to the uh, the student? You're going to have low morale. He's moving to end. They, they're calling it selective enrollment. And this is what they had to say on Fox about that. Enrollment high schools in order to boost equity, despite promising not to do this during his campaign. The controversial move will reportedly take a toll on 11 city high schools, the majority of which significantly outperformed Chicago public schools on SATs and other standardized te tests. Joining us now to discuss is senior fellow at the American Federation for Children and founder of Black Minds Matter, Zanisha Allen. Zanisha, good morning to you. Can you explain to us what just happened here? What did the Chicago Board of Education just do? Really, it's a facade of morality, offering students freedom within, I would say, a already prison type system. Students do not have the freedom to move about in government schools, and they never will. And so this move by the Chicago mayor to increase, quote unquote, options in a school that school district that's already failing students it's really it's a facade and we need to blow up the entire system give that money directly to parents and allow them to choose the best school that's best for their kid to get them out of these schools like like the head of the teachers union did in chicago so the way i understand it and i i may be simplifying it a bit too much uh correct me if i'm wrong but that these selective enrollment schools are just better than other public schools in chicago and the Board of Education shut those specific schools down. Why would they do that? Like I said, it's a facade of the morality. So these schools are magnet schools, um, SAT prep schools, arts-based schools, and they have been selective. And to, many people don't think that public schools can select the students that they that enter into their doors, but that's just simply not the fact. So these students are coming in, um, they are made this is Chicago schools. Look at the these lar uh, high performance schools. They close those down, and they want the parents to be able to go 
to these schools or the selective enrollment process. They don't want schools to have selective enrollment process. So how you test in the schools, they don't want you to do that. They just want to accept anybody in the schools. Pookie and Ray Ray just dumbing down the schools. The, like I said, the parents, they don't care about their education. Oh, this is a good school, but you you don't put time to effort and the time to get your kids to um, do well in school. So why should you mess, it, mess the education up for all these other kids that's actually taking their education serious? These students are coming in, they're majoring in arts, they're getting, you know, it's a magnet school. And the mayor is basically saying, we're gonna do away with that system and allow all students Think about the affirmative justice ending at the college level, but now in the K through 12 public education level. Yeah, and I, I guess this speaks to the push against school choice in Chicago. And if I remember correctly, is it, wasn't it the Chicago Teachers Union president who speaks out against school choice publicly, but then she sent her own child to private school? That's exactly right. Over 85% of the students in Chicago public schools are minority. Only 11% of those black kids can read on grade level and 7% can do math on grade level. The head of the Chicago Teachers Union saw the dismal outcomes that's happened in, in Chicago's public schools and said, no way, I'm going to pick a great school for my son. And that was a private school. The hypocrisy is, is despicable. She's denying those same options to other families who are in the same predicament. The families who would like to get into these selective enrollment schools, but you know, probably won't still test well enough to get in. Yeah. They can't read and they probably won't graduate from high school knowing how to read either. Wow. This is such a sad turn of events for students who are thriving and who want to get a great education in Chicago. And maybe parents, if they have the means, will move as a result. We'll just have to wait and see. Deneen, thank you so much for joining us, explaining this to us. We appreciate it. Speaking of school choice, I think you should have school choice. I think you should be able to uh, send your kid to a school that's performing well. Hey, if the school is not in my district, it's not performing well, um, it's a bad actor. I prefer my kid to go to X, Y, and Z school. You should be able to do that. I also think you should, a school should be able to be selective in a process. These are our standards. How did you test on, you know, the standardized test last year? Do we need to facilitate another test to see if you could test in the school. We want our students to do well. So what is wrong with that? Um, Mayor Brandon Johnson in uh, that progressive, or you're trying to say, hey, we want more equitable choice, but you're really failing the kids. What they need to do is overhaul the school system. We need to overhaul parents' thinking because it's not just the schools, our kids. I think it's more than the schools failing our kids. If you are a parent that education seriously and you instill that in your child i think your kid tends to do better than other students but if you if you don't believe in education and you don't um you're not on your kid's head to hey do your homework you know you got to study or you can't just be sitting in front of the tv your your child may not do well in school and then you, you know, you have the teacher contacting the parent and the parent acting like their kid is not doing anything wrong. Your kid is causing problems or behind and you're not being a parent that's involved. So I think it's, it's two things, but I really do think they need to overhaul the public school system. I really do. Not only Chicago, but in Detroit. This leads me to my last story. If you live in Michigan, your girl, Governor um, Whitmer, just signed a bill. And in Michigan, they used to have where at third grade, if you can't read past third grade, like if you're in third grade or you're not at third grade reading level, they won't pass you to the next level. The law is now headed to the governor's desk. The repeal aims to stop holding back students who are unable to read on a second grade reading level by the end of third grade. 13 on your side's Trevier Gonzalez joins us live with more. Trevier, when can we expect this bill to be signed? Yeah, there isn't a set time for Governor Gretchen Whitmer to sign this into law, though she is expected to give it the green light. Now, the state house passed the bill narrowly yesterday. It has already been approved by the Senate. Now, if signed, it would undo a part of the Michigan 
third grade reading law that holds students back if they are unable to perform well enough on the end step. Now, just like Veronica mentioned, if a student is not able to read on a second grade level by the end of the third grade, they would be held back for a year. Now, last month, educators voiced support for the change, one superintendent even saying it's best that other factors be considered and not just those standardized test scores. This decision does not need to be made from Lansing. It needs to be made between the partnership between parents and schools. And so where I see this benefiting kids is we can talk about the whole child, not just about what they did on a single test on a single day. I just learned about this one. It says Governor Whitmer signed bill to end A through F grades for school performance. This makes me really sad. Now, and the only reason why it makes me sad is because uh, we have kids and uh, they don't, they're not going to have any type of standards. They're not going to know what to achieve to. Um, and you know who this affects the most is mainly black people. Anybody that's living in the urban area. Because now you, you go into school. Oh, they, they're doing fine. They're doing their work. Uh, what do you mean? What, did you give them any tests? <laughs> like, oh, we don't give grades. Out. Why not? How do you know they're doing good? So when they go to college, they're not going to know. They, they're going to really feel bad because in college, especially if you um, major in some type of STEM field, the grading system in college is a little bit different, even though sometimes you get some professors grading on the curve, but it's going to be a bad wake up call for these kids. Um, and, and it's saying Governor Gretchen, um, Gretchen signed a bill Monday to toss off, toss out the Republican back A through F letter grade, grade system for evaluating Michigan schools, saying the policy amounted to burdensome requirements. Less is more with the repeal the A, A through F, which always tried to create false impressions that the rating school schools was easy. State Superintendent Michael Rice said the statement from Wilmer's office, schools are complex and what educators do daily for children distills poorly into the letter grade system. I don't know about that. If, if at third grade and can't read at third grade, they'll still pass the kid. They wonder why they still, the kids are stupid. And I didn't know they got rid of the A through F system. They still use it out here though. I mean, in the suburbs. You, you still get a grade out here. They don't give grades until like the fourth grade. Then they start giving grades. You guys put it in the chat. I, th I think that's the message that they're sending. Black kids or these minority kids, they can't achieve greatness. So get rid of the, pass them along. Get rid of that standard. Get rid of the grades A through F. Don't test them. Don't test them to see if they could uh, uh, get into a school, some type of competition um, to have, hey, this is a competitiveness. That's I think competitiveness is a good thing. You don't need that. What, what are you worried about reading for? Why, why even read? You don't need that. Just sign your name here. And what you supposed to put? A X. <laughs> Guys, let me know what you think. Um, put it in the chat. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. I am sending all my good to you. I will talk to you soon.